What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here for a quick message. I know we literally just switched to a new intro last episode, but some of you weren't pleased. One of you even said I was downgrading on the intros. Well, I'll show you what happens when you challenge me. Greetings, one and all two universes! In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to find out who will win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and make your predictions down in the comment section below or with a video response. And who knows, your comment or video response could be featured in the very next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two fighters. Samurai Jack, he's gotta get back. And Link, the hero of Hyrule. With their magic swords, they banished evil, but which light will shine brighter than the other and be the ultimate defeater of darkness? Let's find out. This is Universes. Long ago, in a distant land, Aku, the shape-shifting master of darkness, unleashed an unspeakable evil. But a young boy whose name is unknown managed to flee the evil infested land and began his training so he could return later and defeat this evil foe. Once the samurai had grown, he headed towards Aku, sword in hand, prepared for battle. He was nearly successful but failed as before the final blow was struck, Aku tore open a portal in time and flung the samurai into the future where Aku's evil is law. Jack now seeks to return to the past and undo the evil that is Aku, but in order to survive in this grim future, he needs to be prepared. Well, for starters, Jack is extremely skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Shaolin monks taught him several forms of martial arts, and he learned the art of combat from African tribesmen. Jack was taught to use multiple kinds of weapons and will even resort to using the environment to his advantage, but his sword is his go-to weapon, a magical blade that banishes evil. One common misconception about Jack's sword is that it's unable to harm organic beings or humans, but this is false, as not only do we see Jack killing organic beings with a sword, but it's even specifically stated that the only time that the sword doesn't work is when it's being used for an evil purpose. Self-defense isn't evil, no matter if you're fighting robots or organic beings. But Jack was trapped in the future for over 50 years, so that sword alone isn't going to help him. Jack got some cool armor to protect himself with, some nice laser firearms, and even a kunai. Jack will often take parts of the environment and turn them into weapons, or he'll even resort to breaking off parts of his enemies to fight with. With all this combat skill and weapon experience, Jack has done some pretty remarkable things. Well, physically, Jack is tough enough to take on several foes in hand-to-hand -hand combat. He's strong enough to kick over a fully grown bear and kick down a stone pillar. Yes, this pillar was ancient and cracked and yada yada, but still, kicking over something that large would require at least a ton of force. Then, of course, he was tough enough to harm Aku in human form who survived falling off of that pillar. He's even strong enough to lift and casually run with a gigantic boulder that should weigh at least 20 tons. This was a special training that gave him the ability to jump good and leap several feet in the air. He can slice through several robots, even ones larger than himself. But if there's a robot too tough for him to even scratch, he can always just call upon his ancestors to bless his sword for extra power. Jack also has decent stamina as he can keep fighting when he's pretty beat up. He was once crushed by a giant robot and then just cut his way out. Jack is also pretty fast. He reacted to and deflected a ton of machine gun bullets, he sliced a missile, and he was even fast enough to dodge sunlight as it burnt through a glass dome. With all this, it's no wonder that Aku had to cheat in their first battle and fling Jack into the future. But let's see if Link, the hero of Hyrule, can keep up. No! 
Fun fact, this is the only main series Zelda game where Link is actually named Link instead of a player chosen name. Anyways, a hundred years ago, the land of Hyrule was invaded by an ancient evil known as Calamity Ganon. However, everyone had a plan, an idea, an army to stop Ganon. Link, Zelda, champions, divine beasts, guardians, all were ready to go to war with this great evil. But everything went wrong when Ganon revealed he had the power to control machines by taking over the guardians, turning the hero's army into his own. Unfortunately, this army was too much for our heroes. The champions were killed, and Link was defeated and put into stasis for 100 years where he would recover. When he awoke, he immediately began his quest back to Hyrule Castle so he could defeat Ganon, but he'd need to pick up some weapons along the way. Only Link's iconic and story driven arsenal is allowed here though, no random pickups around the world. There's of course his Master Sword, an evil banishing blade that can fire light projectiles when Link is at full health, and it can materialize in his hands so he never loses it. He also has the Hylian Shield which is extremely powerful and can even tank blows from Ganon. Then of course his standard bow and some fire, ice, lightning, and even exploding bomb arrows. Link has also learned how to use rune magic. He can materialize an infinite supply of bombs out of nowhere, Magnesis can move gigantic metal objects even if they weigh several tons, and Stasis allows him to freeze an object in time and hit it repeatedly to build up kinetic energy and do more damage. The Time Stop can also freeze living beings just for not as long, and of course the Cryosis lets him control and freeze water. Link was also given the powers of the champions. These powers include an energy shield from Daruk, the ability to create lightning storms from Urbosa, the ability to soar in the air from Rivali, and the ability to revive himself with full health from Mipha. He can only do this once over a long period of time though. With all these items, magic, and weapons, Link was more than ready to take on Ganon again, where this time he was successful. In fact, he was so ready that he's even powerful enough to defeat Ganon with regular weapons. This makes Breath of the Wild Link one of the strongest incarnations nations as he's one of the very few versions of Link who can actually scale to Ganon's insane power due to not relying on the Master Sword. You know, the same power that can cover the entire land of Hyrule, a country level area? Not only that, but Link can survive blows from Ganon or block them entirely with the Hylian Shield or Daruk's protection. Link has the ability to slow down his own perception of time by narrowly avoiding enemy attacks. This allows him to counterattack at much faster speeds. Speaking of speeds, Link is also able to react to the light beams of a guardian by either dodging it, blocking it, or flat out deflecting them. Sheesh, why didn't he get all this stuff the first time? Wouldn't have had to waste a hundred years. Hmm, I wonder if he can beat Jack on his first try though. Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. Hey, what's going on guys? Corn O'Keefe here, bringing you another Universes prediction. We got Samurai Jack versus Link. And not just any Link, we got Link from the Breath of the Wild, folks. The newest Legend of Zelda game, to be precise. Now this is an interesting match, because you see there's a new season of Samurai Jack out. Things are going on. I think he's talking a little more, he's a little more of a savage. But I'm pretty sure Link is actually going to egg out in this. He definitely has the range advantage definitely has the arsenal advantage he still has the master sword in this and you know Jack would more than likely take speed I would actually go ahead and give Jack a slight edge in speed but I feel like Link takes mobility as well as shown when he uses his glider literally flies high up in the air with his glider jumps off shoots multiple targets showing perfect accuracy and archery and pulls his glider back out and continues gliding now to me that's definitely giving him the archery advantage the accuracy and mobility versatility you could say as well like I said I feel like the speed edges out to Samurai Jack and yeah if he does get a few good swings in on Link he's definitely got a good chance of winning you could say but I feel like at the end of the day Link could possibly win six times out of ten more often than not this uh, certain link um, not sure on the you know what level of strength he's on exactly but if if it's if it's anything I know all links are different but if he's anything like some of the other links you know there is a link that takes on a country level Ganondorf stuff like that so yeah I'm gonna go with link on the next universes let me know if you can them below 
it's a good fight. I'm a huge fan of both these characters, especially Samurai Jack. But Link all the way, folks. Peace. Hello there, guys. I am uh, Dr. Blue Eyes. And um, here is going to be next time um, we are going to be. Sorry. Sorry about that. Anyways, um, hello there, guys. I am uh, Dr. Bloys, and today we will be discussing um, a universe's a fight fight results um, called Samurai Jack vs. Link. It's uh, universes, but is by uh, um, Leopold the Brave. I have watched some of his videos, but uh, not a lot. Now get this. Um, when it comes to um, um, Link has uh, proven that he can lift up things. Let's talk about <laughs> Samurai Jack. <laughs> Samurai Jack was so Link's results. Hmm. Uh, well, I heard in part, uh, Cartoon Fight Club uh, by Animation Rewind the fact that uh, Aku has uh, defeated again. Well, sorry about that. Anyways, um, hello there, guys. I am uh, Dr. Bloys, and today we discussing um a unilink pretty much sounds like it's a, pretty much sounds a bit strong he defeated climb in death battle but but he was defeated by those like mario and cartoon fight club i'm gonna give it to uh samurai jack be good luck guys it's dr blue And the results are in. The winner is... Link! He come to town! Come to save the Princess Zelda! Sorry, I... I... I, I couldn't resist. I, I have a problem. I'm, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, magic swords. So fun, and they make all the difference here, too. Mainly in strength, as Link is able to defeat Ganon without the need of his magical sword, whereas Jack absolutely needs his to defeat Aku. This leads to a landslide in strength for Link as he's able to scale to Ganon's insane power while Jack has to abuse Aku's specific weakness. When not fighting Aku, the most Jack has fought is other robots and enemies that range from building to town level at most. Not only does Link hit harder, but he has more to hit harder with. Jack has his sword, kunais, firearms, and some armor that wouldn't last long considering Link's strength advantage. Meanwhile, Link has his sword, shield, bow and arrows, infinitely materializing bombs, magic runes, and champion abilities. Now Jack has been known to swipe the weapons of his enemies and use it against them in battle, but there's no way he'd be able to get his hands on the Master Sword. For one, it materializes in Link's hands so he can never lose it. And two, this time around, the Master Sword takes the life of the people not ready or worthy to use it yet. So not only could Jack not take away the Master Sword, but he'd die even if he did. What about Link's shield, though? It's unlikely Jack would be able to break it considering it can take hits from Ganon, and even if Jack did steal it, Link would still have Daruk's protection. Link has a backup for everything Jack could take away. In fact, Link even has a backup life, as Mipha's grace revives him once he reaches the point of death. Imagine Jack, all beaten and bruised, somehow finally managing to defeat Link and deal a finishing blow, only for Link to revive right away completely healed while the worn-down Jack would have to start from scratch. It just can't be done. Now their speed may be equal with Jack being able to dodge sunlight and Link being able to react to the light beams of the Guardians, but Link can also slow down his own perception of time and attack faster, meaning Jack wouldn't be able to keep up for long. We haven't even gotten into Link's rune abilities or his bow and arrows, but I think you get the point by now. It's just all too much for Jack. He may have some good skill and experience, but that won't stop this samurai from getting jacked up by the hero of Hyrule. The winner is Link. We wouldn't be in a good 
a controlled environment out here. But with your level of physical fitness, you'd be a perfect candidate for the study. Go on. <laughs> Taste it. Get ready for the next battle. Tra la la! Give us some crazy circumstances!